All right guys, so it's a new day. Um, I'm gonna try and get these wheels swapped out today. I had one of the front wheels off a couple weeks ago, or just, uh, I took all the lugs off, the wheel won't come off, and the lugs just stripped out on this thing. So I think I'm just gonna loosen all these up and uh, take it for a real short drive to see if I can get the wheels to break free, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I just put these lugs back on, just um, gonna leave them a little loose. Take it for a real short drive, just maybe up the street and back or down the driveway. See if I can get this wheel to break free. But before we take this thing up to the end of the road, we gotta dump some brake fluid in here quick because that line is still cracked and leaking like crazy. So we're gonna be very careful about how we drive up there. There we go, completely full. That should give us some brakes for a little bit anyways. your fingers for me. Sounds nice. So I got a little bit of an exhaust leak underneath yet. That uh, back exhaust needed some more work. I've got an idler bearing on something up front that's going bad, so it's kind of noisy. But no check engine lights. Kind of quit smoking for the time being. I think it needs to be run for a while yet though. Got some deer up there this morning. If you can see them or not. All right, so the front wheels, at least this one came loose. So we'll get that one swapped out, get some new lugs on there. This one came loose too. Um, this only has three good studs left, so I've gotta get that wheel off and swap out those studs. But the back wheels did not, at least this one didn't break free yet. This one's still stuck. And this one over here, let's see. This one's still stuck too. So I'll get the front one swapped out and then maybe we'll take it for another little drive. All right, so I just looked it up. You do have to do a full tear down of the hub to get these studs out. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna tackle this today. I'd like to at least get the back wheels off and get those changed out too. But uh, we'll see. So leave one lug on there a little bit. I can see, I don't know if the camera probably won't pick this up. So this lug's just very loose on there just so the wheel doesn't fall. You can see in the lug the, the wheel's actually free so it's just stuck on the hub here is what's keeping it on. Try the big hammer.
we go. So three out of four, we have off. The passenger side rear tire is still stuck. Um, we'll see if we can get this brake line fixed first. And then see if we can get that other one off. All right, so this gives us a little better shot of what we're working on. There's that proportioning valve. Looking pretty rough. Let's see if we can get the, we'll let it soak for a little longer first. All right, so I'm gonna try and splice this thing in right here. We'll cut the old tube. Try and give us plenty of room to work with here. There we go. This brake line so rusty, it's just coming out in pieces. All right, so here's what's left of the old one. So we'll kind of match some of these curves on here and get the new section bent up and then um, go from there. All right, so I just got some 316 brake line off Amazon. Came with the new fittings ready. And I've got this um, flare kit, same one I used for the fuel lines on the Audi last week. Lifetime line, four lifetime lines, pro brake clear kit from my Amazon too. So we'll start by just cutting a section of this brake line. quite a bit longer than we need it so we've got enough room to screw up because chances are I'll make a bend or two that are not right. All right, so here's where I'm gonna splice it. So I've gotta put a fitting on here first before I do a flare. Just slide that on there like that. All right, so I've got the flare tool on here. You have just a little bit hanging out so you can flare that thing. And you put on the die. Just this little die here. All right, so that one's done. Now we'll just finish up that other line and uh, get this put back in place. All right, so I've got this temporary brake line in. Hooked up in there too. Um, like I said, eventually that will need to be replaced. It's pretty rusty. And I do have a new one. I just don't want to tackle it today. So we'll see if we can get this bled a little bit and then take it for a drive. All right, so I've got my vacuum bleeder here. Um, just put this on the bleeder screw. Hook an air hose up to it. And just pull the trigger. Now if you can see it coming through the hose. All right, 
Give that a shot. All right, so there it is. Got the brake line on. Um, I got to check to make sure it's not leaking yet. New tires are on. That front wheel still got some broken studs, so next time I've got to rebuild that axle and fix the studs on that. Otherwise, it should be in drivable condition now. So that's where I'm going to wrap this one up, and I will see you guys next time.